hard hit area there, that Davis Island. And we have more coverage today out of Tampa for you. Local 10's Samir Nafsi joins us live with another look at the evacuations underway and shelters in place for the storm. Yeah, Cyrus, so we know 11 West Coast counties under a mandatory evacuation. Go ahead and take a look at some of these efforts. Floridians trying to get out of Hurricane Milton's path. You're taking a look at I-4 right now where you can see nearly bumper to bumper traffic. This scene reflective of I-75 earlier this morning. National Guard members escorted by Highway Patrol navigating a congested I-4. Even if we don't get the 10 to 12 feet of storm surge, we saw all the damage that came from Hurricane Haleen just a couple weeks ago, and you do not want to contend with the storm surge for this powerful storm. We have two people that can get on this bus here. And here on the campus of USF, campus staff telling us they are prepared to transport at least 300 students to a Hillsborough shelter. I'm a little nervous because it's my first time in a shelter for anything, specifically a hurricane shelter. I've never been like directly hit by a hurricane in my lifetime, so it's definitely quite the experience. Hajani Bulai from Jamaica among the students riding out the storm. I'm an international student, so I have no idea what's going on, so I'm glad that they at least thoughts of their students. Want some fruit? Yeah. Yeah. Two bottles of water? Students will remain at the shelter till at least Thursday. It's hard not to be a little bit worried. The fact that we have to evacuate here is like, that's enough to get me a little bit worked up. Meanwhile, at Burnett Middle School. I've been through torrential rains, I've lived in a desert, I've lived in a jungle, but I've never gone through a Cat 4. Terry McConnell, one of hundreds opting to seek shelter. That's scary stuff. Get in cover. If you're not in a substantial building, find one. All right, again, just another live look at I-4, and you can just see how busy it is, as well as uh, people driving on the shoulder, turning uh, I-4 into uh, essentially what is now a four-lane road. People getting out of Hurricane Milton's pathway. Of course, uh, the governor also warning people, as well as Tampa's mayor, to uh, get their evacuation plans in order. We're really getting down to the final hour. We are live in Tampa. I'm Sabrina NFC, Local 10 News. Yeah, definitely people are running out of time. You know, I know lots of folks, I, I grew up in Tampa, headed north, but now I'm understanding that a lot of folks who waited this long are beginning to head down here to South Florida. Are you hearing that as well, that I-75 and Alligator Alley is also getting pretty packed? Yeah, Christy, so earlier when we were talking to people, uh, many actually saying they were heading to South Florida and Orlando, as we know, Orlando uh, is still very much uh, possibly in the path of Hurricane Milton, but many saying they are going down to South Florida possibly or just trying to get out of the state entirely. But we can tell you here in Hillsborough County, at least uh, a number of shelters are open and ready for residents here. Uh, we were at one you were able to see in that story just a few minutes ago. Uh, a lot of people taking advantage of that. Look, looks busy on the roads, but they are moving along, especially with that shoulder being open. So, all right, we will be checking back with you later on this afternoon, Samir. Stay safe.